Hey y'all, it's your girl Rocky Roll, and I'm back with a review for Johnson on Bounce TV Episode 6, Foul Play. And foul play it was, and it was a lot of shit going on in this episode. So we start off with Omar pitching his app. Following that, Keith goes to visit Jarvis about his gallery. He's trying to get his gallery off the ground, and he's telling Jarvis, like, it's time to, to get it going. So I need your advice. So Jarvis said he would help him out, and then Jarvis is like, that's all you came for him? And Keith's like, yeah, pretty much, and Bounce. And you know the thing about it is funny because it's always that friend that's being either disregarded or everybody believe is strong or got it going on they need to be checked on too or it's that friend that's always dismissive as hell it's that too so then you got Greg going into the store because he's going to get his scratch offs but he is greeted by three young men trying to sell some water you know how it is it's these kids always trying to sell water candy or something which is not a big deal because at the end of the day it's better than them getting into trouble but these these three, they was looking for trouble. So they're saying, we got these waters, three for 10. He like, three for 10? I got $5. They're like, all right, we take the five or whatever. So he gave them the five. They had a little exchange, which was pleasant. He goes in the store, gets a scratch off, come back in, try to scratch it off, only to notice that his window of his diamond in the back, some rooftop, digging the scene with the gasoline, okay, had been busted out. And it must have been these kids. He meets the boys at the basketball court and they're talking about the incident. This whole basketball court scene, a couple things happened. One, we found out, of course, like I said, Greg ain't tell Serena because she wouldn't believe it anyway. He basically ain't want to smoke. Two, we find out what's the deal with Naomi. Because remember, I was like, what's the deal with her for real? Like, we really don't know what the deal is. We got a little clues here and there, but what is the deal? From Omar's perspective, it's kind of like she wanted him to be a certain way. When she realized that he wasn't going to be the way she wanted him to be, it was time for her to move on. And see, women make the mistake of doing that. And men do it too. We both do it. We want people to be who we want them to be. And no, uh, they be who they are. Now, I'm not saying people can't grow and change and alter and get better or whatever, what have you, but you just can't sit up and mold somebody like they play though honey they, they're not build a bear you can't just sit up and put an order in and build a fucking spouse unfortunately people are who they are either love them or leave them so she chose to leave them with all that going on greg and jarvis get into it now before they get into it jarvis is explaining how he's always having to defend his position of being married to his woman because he's married to a white woman and greg is letting him know i mean think about it bro you fit the bill of what people be getting mad about you make it and then you get with a white woman and he like i mean but i married her for who she was but yeah but no because right after that he proceeds to say when i ain't had nothing sisters wasn't checking for me so yeah that's really what it was yeah he might have liked her her spirit and how she was but the real deal is wasn't no sister checking for him he felt a certain type of way and he got with her and it's not a problem whatever whatever flows your boat but him and greg got into it because the underlying thing is that Jarvis be acting like, in Greg's mind, he's not black. They both on tip because to Greg's defense, Jarvis do be acting deaf, dumb, and blind, honey. Because of who he's married to. It seems that. I mean, just from viewing. When you get with somebody, your ideals and your outlook on life is going to change. It just happens by default. It's just what it is because you're merging your life with another person. He's going to look at things a little bit differently. Not only that's who he lives with, but for cohesiveness. You got to. You have to find some way to kind of mesh that shit together to get along. And so Greg is picking up on that shit. And you know how we be. We be on you. You know, we going to ride your ass about some shit. And that's really what's going Going on so they both on tip and they both have validity but they got into it so after they got into it of course the other guys left and greg was left by himself jarvis threw his hands up like i'm done he also had a conversation with his wife about the situation and the wife was like hey if this friendship is not serving you anymore leave it alone when they was talking about them boys though that robbed them and greg had to express that he wasn't gonna turn them in because you know they all did dumb stuff and it's hard out here for black boys which it is it's scary for a black man black boy whoever anything black to get stopped okay outside of a skunk baby it's scary for them to get stopped it's a fear for their life so i understand but at the same time jarvis is over there like oh so we just gonna let him get away with it and he like hold up jarvis now nah, then was you the one that stole a coat back in the day you know he got quiet on that but the real deal is i agree with both sides but check this out if they would have stole all this shit down to greg's draws he would have turned their ass in i believe it or don't keep it real anyway the event of the night i'm glad i found out that earthquake's name in the show was booker uncle eugene and booker was over there at the bar and they happened to catch omar there so omar runs into bianca 
And Bianca's asking him, like, do you make it a practice to slip in young women's uh, DMs or what? And he's like, no. Nah. She's like, okay, well, why you didn't call me? And he like, I mean, you just seem like the type of woman that just be basically playing brothers to the level or playing games, sending mixed signals, stuff like that. And so she was like, no. Nah. Sometimes people just make assumptions. But here's the truth. She's right. But let's keep it real. Bianca is sending all kind of signals, honey. They bouncing off towers like it's Wi-Fi in this piece. So, hello? But I get it. We're going to let it slide. You can tell Omar is uncomfortable because he already know what time it is. Keith likes this young lady. So he's trying to get up out of there, but she's like, no, you're not leaving me. You're going to stay, take a couple drinks, of course. He sits there. Why in the hell did he do that? Omar got all this stuff going on with his wife. He's wide open. He's vulnerable. He's got a lot going on emotionally. So it wasn't a good idea to sit in the presence of this pretty woman with some alcohol. So of course they get up out of there. She's talking about them taking an Uber or whatever and they end back at, at the house and they getting it on. Here it is. He worried about Bianca doing Keith wrong, but he the one doing Keith wrong. You Keith's boy. Now was it malicious and all, but this is the thing. This is why you got it at all costs. Keep yourself out of compromising situations because stuff happens especially with that alcohol now y'all know that jamie fox and made that song blaming on the a -a 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 alcohol in this instance he can't blame it on shit but being his ass at the wrong place and wrong time and not getting the fuck on that's what he can blame it on did chris brown not make this song is something in this liquor i mean it's been so many songs if i have one more drink ooh, ooh. i'm just saying we all know what the spirits do and the spirit that comes out and acts sometimes we give in so yeah, he didn't messed up with that. A lot of questions was answered and more questions was raised. So we're going to have to stay tuned to episode 7. Go ahead and download the Brown Sugar app and watch Johnson. And get in the comments and let us know what you think. Follow Johnson Bounce too on Twitter and Instagram. And give your feedback. Alright y'all.